so this week's mod on the Tacoma is actually pretty simple. First thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take off my negative battery terminal. For now, I won't do the positive terminal, and the reason for that is I need to go buy some crimp on ring terminals that are larger uh, diameter than this because the new bolts on the new terminals won't fit. Let's go ahead and get this thing out and then we'll bring the new terminal on over and we'll install it. Okay, so these are size 10, which is a bit of a nuisance um, because <laughs> I've actually started losing 10 millimeters like the internet says would happen. Um, pretty frustrating. So how do I go about this? So I'm gonna use a rather large tent. Um, hope that I can get it in the space and go from there. It fits, but I'm probably gonna jack up my nice battery bracket. Ah. Oh well, I can do this by hand, so I don't have to stick anything else here. Very nice. Alright. So that's that. Let's remove that old terminal and install the new one. Alright, so really quickly, I'm going to go ahead and take the screw out. The basic reason for that is I need this ground, as that is the ground for my vehicle goes into one of those OG grounding kits, but the original ground for this truck was a wire that just came here and it was all cracked and broken. So I got rid of it and just used the grounding kit in its place. Now I need to cut this cable so I can crimp on a new end. All right, that's that. Old terminal is gone. Let's go ahead and clean this up a little bit, strip it. All right, I want to leave a little bit more here, so I'm going to strip it further. That's beautiful right there. All right, so I don't have the ideal crimping tool for these things, so let's see if I can pull an upset here. I had the correct dies for this type of thing, but oh heck. All right, that's nice and tight. That's not going anywhere ever. Let's put the rest of this thing on. Alright, so you just kind of do this, pop this guy on, put the washer back, put the nut back on. Position this guy, it's a little bit of a tightening, 
It's kind of like one of those bicycle seats. Like a little bit more than that. That's nice. So let's go ahead and tighten this down and this should be good to go. Tighten this guy down. You know what? I could probably rotate this a little bit. Let's see what the cable will allow me to do. But yeah, I'll take that a tad. And that just takes the top of the cable out of the fuse box. There we go, much nicer, much tighter. So looks good. Now I just got to get some ring terminals for mounting these extra wires that are coming to my positive, and I should be able to do the positive side with the same quick release. Pretty cool. Clearance this guy just a little bit. That should be enough. Incredible convenience of the quick release. However, you want to disconnect the battery. All right, that's that. We'll do the positive and we're done. got three different connections here coming to this positive terminal that I'll have to redo. Right, I've got my fan, got my subwoofer, and I've got my headlights. So See if we can't, uh... all right, so. This is annoying because I had clearances to fit, so it barely fits. All right, this is all jacked up, so we'll redo this. And this one too. Plus they don't really fit. Alright. Disconnect this thing. It's definitely seen better days. Let's uh, redo these little ones, shall we?
soft that piece of wood is. Let's get a piece of metal. Obviously hammering on a battery, less than ideal. So I wanna not do too much of that. nice and tight. This plastic thing will never fit over that. It's funny because even if you crimped it with a crimping tool it probably wouldn't fit. I don't even know why they do this. But oh well. That's that. These two are going to need another one of these big ones so I gotta go get that. Alright. That's not going anywhere ever. Alright so all of the cables that go here are pretty much set up to go. And uh, you know, this is bolted on. So I might just be able to bolt on my other one and not have to do any crimping. Sweet. Peace. Disconnect my negative terminal real quick. because I have so much crap. Okay, and I don't know how useful this would be for now on, but whatever. Um, to enlist the help of my pliers. Um, just to try to keep this from moving too much. about this is on so easy to flip that over. Alright. I don't really think that's going anywhere anytime soon. Definitely gotta do some uh, wiring clean up here. And obviously, this is not going to work for me anymore, but that's okay. Everything I need connected is connected. All right, so there you have something that was supposed to be a simple mod. Ended up being quite a pain to do for you know, life reasons. Stuff happens, but uh, it's all said and done. And it's not too shabby. And I have what I needed, which is the ability to quickly disconnect this because sometimes I don't drive this truck for a while. It sits around, so it's got to sit around. May as well disconnect the battery and not be killing the battery the entire time. It just makes my life a little bit simpler. You don't have to put it on tender. All right, it's just one less thing to worry about. Spend electricity on. And there you have it. So, if you like this video, I know it was a rough one. Feel free to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you're notified when I post up another one. 
If you have any feedback, feel free to leave that in the comment section. I'm sure some genius is going to tell me about how I use the wrong crimping tool. I know that. Don't care. Sorry, buddy. I got it done. Um, anywho, if uh, you have any feedback, feel free to leave that in the comment section. And as always, thank you guys for watching.